Hi guys, it's Minx here. Hope you're doing super, super well today. I am doing NOM. I just wanted to shout out our producer, Alice. Thank you so much, Alice, for being an amazing NOMKIN as always, and make sure you follow those links on screen right now to support Alice. Thank you so much for the support this month, guys. It's been one of our busiest months for long plays, and here is the last one of the month. We'll be a bit late getting back to them next month, probably going to be like the fourth or fifth when videos resume with some more long play content, but I hope you guys don't mind waiting till then. But um, got a lot going on the next few days. Anyway. Thank you for being amazing, thank you for being fantastic, and I hope you've enjoyed this month of stat content. I'm gonna hope to try and put out a lot more next month too, so, um, hope you guys enjoy. Sit back and relax, this is Dead Beacon. Hey guys, it's Minx here, hope you're doing really, really numb. This is Dead Beacon. Uh, I played a few hours of this off and on stream, and I wanted to do a full playthrough for YouTube. It is a Resident Evil tribute in the truest sense of the word. It's also, even on the easiest difficulty level, very, very hard, but I seem to really like it, so we're gonna give it a chance, and at least for a while, I'm gonna know what I'm doing. So we're gonna do a simplified map so we can see if we've got all the items, and we're gonna play on easy, because otherwise it's really, really difficult. Um, so off we go. Here we are on our wondrous boat here. Got a new note with the tutorial. Let's grab our spyglass. Place the spyglass on the tripod and we're gonna look out across the horizon where nothing bad can happen, obviously. Got a limited inventory. Not limited saves, but save points in this. Very easy to die though. Very easy to die. Maybe not for the first, like, hour, but it's gonna get a lot harder, you'll see what I mean. I've no idea how anyone can play this on normal. Well, we got lasered out of the boat. Always hate when that happens, when I get lasered. Here we are in the remnants of the boat on a beautiful beach. Let's get exploring. We need a weapon in order to progress down the way to the main area there, so we gotta find a way in. Watch me lose a bunch of health here, you'll see what I mean. All right, we got our first weapon, it's a lead pipe. It is absolutely fucking awful. You have to stand still and that is the animation. We will use it to save ammo occasionally, but generally speaking, Health is really scarce in this game. Like, I found maybe four health kits in like an hour. So you've really not got to... Getting hit is bad. I don't know what's happening lately on this island. Something vile seems to be going on at the manor. The lighthouse has always stood as a warning finger above its roofs, but now it seems to have a will of its own and it beckons me. I will avoid looking at it from now on. To make it worse, the island native wolves that were limiting themselves to the south area of the forest now dare to get closer and closer to the perimeter of the manor as if something were calling them. On their last raid, I had to flee to the beach, and in my haste, I left my hunting rifle in the old cabin. I should come back for it. I've got to bear that in mind, I guess. You can break all the vases open. Sometimes you find stuff, sometimes you don't. This lovely gentleman here is not going to be happy with us for trying to leave. It's very easy just to get hit in this, and I'm not really sure what to do about it. Eh, hey, I missed that heal last time. Oh my god. Simple key. Only got one hit on me. That's good. I missed that heal last time. Now that's an extra heal. Excellent. Maybe I just need to be more observant than I am, but um, this is me we're talking about, so you know. I just want to check something. So, as you see on the map here, the cabin area is... Oh, that's just where we are. Okay. I thought maybe it would show, like, if there were missing items, but no, it's just where we are. Okay. That is what it is. Oh, my God. So, later on, you get a shovel. I wonder if you come all the way back down to this beach, you can dig up some rare stuff. It certainly looks like that's the case. Interesting. I'll have to bear that in mind for when I find the shovel. I don't know how long this game is, like, I'm gonna guess, like, about four hours at least. 
It's very cheap though. Like for a, it's a lot of content for how much it is. It's very reasonably priced. Like I, I often come into these games thinking, wow, that's asking a lot, you know what I mean? For anyone curious, by the way, these are my old saves. I'm gonna just make save from the beginning. That music is not the music from Evil Within, because I said it was, and everyone chewed me out for saying that it was when I streamed this. So, um That's just the save point music though. I know it's a classic, classic, classical song. Like, I'm not a complete idiot. Well, I mean, eh, it is debatable. I do wonder if we come down here later on, but it says the lock's jammed rather than locked, so it's potentially not. There are loads of dig spots down here. And there's a spinel here as well. I didn't even see this before. Oh my god, these are so useful. We'll be able to get... Oh my god, I need to remember all this shit. Did you see there are zombies around here? I'm not going to kill any of the zombies around here for now. It's just not worth the loss of ammo or health. We have stamina now. The stamina in this is pretty terrible. Um, you can get upgrades for it, which I'm hoping I will be able to find more of as the more I play. But um, it's pretty awful. You run out really easily. And in the boss fights where you're desperately trying to get away from getting hit, uh, it makes things challenging to say the least. Let me just try and bait this guy. But again, it's hard with the sort of a very like while you're while it's a first person game, there's a certain clunkiness to the movement that is very reminiscent of like the OG Resident Evil. I don't know if that was intended. I'm, I'm assuming it was. It definitely feels like um, very very classic. There are places to dig up everywhere. In fact, I think that's what I need for a boss fight that I got stuck on before. Excellent. Lots to do here, then. So, you can buy stuff here. What you buying, says the technical monster. Well, uh, you can, we desperately want this. We want four spinels for this. Is very important for our uh, continued survival. Because that's an inventory upgrade. We'll go down in the basement eventually. But for right now, we're not going to. We're just going to wander around a bit. And uh, clear out the most basic of basic stuff. There's going to be a point where I haven't played stuff, if that makes sense. Hi. I'm going to try to kill you with a thing. That was a bad idea. Actually, I'm not sure it was a bad idea. Two hits is not bad. We have a gun. Ammo is, is scarce here. Um, like, we're going to have ammo problems throughout the game. So this is very important um, for a puzzle later on. You have to remember where the red arrows are pointing, okay? But we'll worry about that a little bit later on. I say a little bit later on. Literally in a few hours, we'll worry about that. Really good music in this, by the way, for what it is. This door here needs a uh, simple key, which you can buy. There's like... There's certain doors you can access by buying keys from the vendor, essentially. It is said that when a zombie raises the arms, his reach and speed increases, so they're more dangerous to approach. Bear that in mind. But there's a lot more than zombies on this accursed island. Shut up. I have no idea what this room is for. It's just like a ritual room. Just knocking around. And I don't really know why. I knew I was going to get hit here. Do they run away from you when you hit them? I've already lost about half health, so I should probably stop killing them that way. But for now, I'm alright. Um. Very simple puzzle in here. You position the uh, items to where they are on the screens in order to unlock a door. Isn't that excellent? I spent ages on this the first time. It looks really simple now, but I just was going like, what am I doing? Isn't there a clue somewhere the first time I played this? Very simple to get the key though, as you can see. There's no item storage box in this game. If you want to drop something, you can drop it and it will stay put on the floor. Which is fine. Like, it's not that big a deal. 
gonna need a gun, I think, up here. We've got the key to the garden, by the way. What we really need is already is an inventory upgrade, I'm gonna be honest with you. Already getting chewed by the one that I've tried a thing and I waste a bullet. Excellent, this is going great. Did get more bullets back than I spent though, so that's something. This is not the run of somebody who played through this area twice, once in the demo and once on Twitch separately. This is not the the the, the skill level that you should expect. But here we are. I'm terrible at video games, as we all know. Another heal. Excellent. Pretty sure one of these closets has a spinel in it as well, which we definitely want. Should definitely look out for those more than I have been. Like, check the roofs and things. Oh, is an inventory upgrade here? Oh, wow. Yes. A very early one. I always think something should come out of there, but I don't think it does an easy. You have to wait for the crosshairs to get into the right place. Um, but it's not too bad. Like, it's it's just like, I, I guess, a very traditional aiming thing. Spinel. Well, I've lost a lot of health. Holy shit, I didn't realize. I'm alright at the moment. I can take another hit, I think. At least, probably. One of the issues is, in this game, if there's multiple enemies, they will, like, gangbang you really bad in a group, and then you'll just be dead. Okay, look, is jammed there. Oh yeah, that's the one I just tried to open from that side. Herp it up. Oh, you can change gun with the mouse wheel. I don't know if you could when, I, when it first came out. It's possible you could, and I just didn't pay attention, but still. Nothing in there. As you see, we're above the statue here. Which has no pee-pee. Which is very disheartening. I will say, this game becomes quite... meme -y is probably the best way I can put it. After a while. And I don't really know where that entirely comes from, but you'll see what I mean. Um, there's some very, very strange parts of this game um, that you'll experience as we go through it. And I think you'll like it, guys, but like, it is really strange. Like, it has a very unique sense of humor. I think that's probably the best, that's a nice way of putting it. Quirky is another way that is, you could do it. some shotgun shells that we currently cannot use because so we don't have a shotgun but we will very soon so that's fine the gold coins you can use to spend at the shops as well as like uh the spinels and things like that the spinels obviously give you rare items there are other gemstones later on as well that you can trade but it's not like resident evil where you sell the gemstones there's a raven symbol on the lock i wonder if we'll ever find that key There's a the shotgun. This is going to be interesting. Got the garden key and the shotgun, and that unleashes these guys. Got a lucky critical. And they're all dead. If you don't know they're coming, they can really get the jump on you. When I played the demo, they really fucked me up, and I used the shotgun in like a panic to desperately kill them. My inventory is probably full now. But yeah. Hopefully I only find things that I can bring with me anyway. But it is what it is. Both those are locked, and the door that way is locked as well. We'll unlock it later on, but for now let's go downstairs. So, one of the game's bosses is down here. You can't fight him yet, but you'll hear him. And I think we should go and say hello to him, because he is a nice guy. He's doing his best. He's got a tough... Job, you can hear him cutting up the meat here. Here, see? That's not him. That's just a bumpkin. Am I even hitting this? Yes, is the answer. He's in there. The curtain is as strong as if he's made of steel. He won't come out until you play a flute because he hates music. So we'll worry about him later on. All these doors are locked in here. 
I don't think any of these are openable. I never actually checked though, so I'm going to check these quickly. You never know, there might be a cupboard with uh, another heal in my luck. Can't break any of the lovely jars of stinky left out mayonnaise that are in here. Got a raven door here as well, which we'll go back through later on. Got some ammo though, which is always nice. Is there a spinel around here? That's another question I can't remember. I feel like maybe it's a good place to hide a sp If I was a spinel, right? La no, the dream, right? It would be somewhere around here. But apparently not for now. So we have the shotgun now. Uh, I'm going to be saving that, obviously, for bosses uh, in particular, at least early on. There are other guns, though. Someone's walking around upstairs. How dare they? Anyway, we're back in the hall here. Let's go and drop a save before we continue. Um, so the garden area. We'll be back in the mansion. The mansion's huge. It's just the fact we've only, t like, touched the tip of the iceberg at this point. Of the size of the mansion. It's absolutely ridiculously big. But for now, we're going to just continue this way. All right. Can't buy anything here. We could buy more ammo, but at the moment, I don't want to. I actually am going to use a shotgun briefly around here. So we've got the interior garden. You need two keys to get into the garden. Because it uses the key once you use it. As you can see, another one of the bosses up here is a giant gargoyle. I don't know if I should... Sh I, I think shooting at it would trigger a fight, and I'd, I'd rather wait for now. I haven't fought that one yet. We need uh, something to open this chest. I can't remember what it is. I'm going to go and check. I think you need, like, a special key or something. What does it say? Sun, sun key to open this. I've never found the sun key, so... There's a lot to this in terms of how elaborate it is. We'll unlock that door eventually as well. Unfortunately, we have Papillas to deal with here. And as we know, Papillas in Resident Evil type games are always quite difficult to deal with. They're dead. I want to kill those because they'll run around otherwise and kick the shit out of me. I don't want to risk using the pistol here. I do want that, whatever that is, so you're dead. Yeah, it's worth it. That's the other garden entrance. Uh, it's, like, locked off, obviously, with the boxes. Now we need to use the other key here. To get to another area. Oh, my God. So numb. All right, so we've got another safe, safe area here. Now, there's some interesting shit, right? So if you find, like, a, 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 green, a blue thing, you can buy, like, a tip, it looks like. A red spinel will buy a key, which we're going to buy. And you can buy extra heals and things here as well. And I will show you some other things about this area in a second. Could really do with another inventory upgrade, I just realized, but it is what it is. So in here, there is a shooting game, shooting round, uh, shooting mini game, like you get in Resident Evil 4. Um, I mean, exactly like in Resident Evil 4, really. And you can use that in order to... You see, I'm, I've got too much shit in my inventory now. Um... You can use that to play for prizes, including a permanent health upgrade that I'm not good enough to get. I will try and do it. Maybe I'll, as if I'm not streaming it, it won't. It, I'll do better. But what I'm going to do very quickly, because that absolutely emptied my inventory doing that, is going to go and open a secret door uh, that we could open later on. But I'm going to go back because I want to get rid of the key and see what's inside the door because I can't remember. So we're going to go quickly pop back to the thing and do that. It's not very far. Then we will head, we will do the mini game. I will attempt to get some upgrades, because I really would like to get the health upgrade, but it's it's difficult. The shooting in this game is... I wouldn't say janky, there's just a, you know, acquired skill. You know what I mean? So the simple keys unlock these doors like this, you see? More ammo. And we need sheet music here for a puzzle. There is also another spinel, which is great. They do not take up inventory slots, as you can see. So we're all good here. And now we need two more spinels, which I, which I know where both, where two of them are for an inventory upgrade, which is excellent. But now 
we're going to go back to the garden, we'll play the shooting range mini game, and we're also going to be doing a little clear out of the graveyard. Spooky dookie. So the, the four bosses, right? There's the gargoyle we've seen, the butcher, which you've heard. Um, there is a living suit of armor in the mansion, which will be the first one that we fight, and I've beaten. It's the only one that I've beaten. And then there is a skeleton, which I think is in the mausoleum, which we're actually really near, but we need explosives to get into, and I've no idea how to get the explosives. And um, I think once you beat all four, that will open the path to the lighthouse that is causing all the trouble. But I've only killed one of them in like two hours of play. I expect it to go a lot faster this time, but still, you know. Here's the minigame. Um, see the prizes here? We got 50, you get the bullets, 100, you get that, and 150. I, I have not got 150. Welcome to the shooting range. Unlock prizes by earning the highest possible score. Each shooting range can only be done with a particular weapon, which will have infinite ammunition. In this case, it's the pistol. Headshots give extra points, and be aware of the blue glowing walls, which give extra time. Interact with the lever when ready. This might go worse than it ever did on stream. We'll see. Finding the time to reload is the hardest part of this, really, if I'm honest with you. Oh, why the fuck did that not count? Come on, the reload takes fucking ages. Like, a ridiculous amount of time, really. I need a wolf. God damn it, I missed one. I think you have to hit all of them to get the 150. I think it's the best I've ever done. I'm not going to get 150, but I'm going to get close. Ah, oh, I was so close. I was two hits away from doing it. I did it! 151! I got a first aid kit. Oh, that's not a heal. A medical tool that fully restores your health. Oh, that wasn't really worth it. I thought it was something way better. I can't- there's too much room in my inventory now. That's bullshit. I'm not bullshit, but... I guess I need a heal. I was really excited. I thought it was like a super health upgrade. Oh, whatever. With full health, probably gonna need it, to be honest with you, for this next bit, so let's go. Alright, here's the graveyard with the mausoleum. There's different ones in here that have different that symbolize different keys that are in the game. You can't dig these graves up with the shovel, I noticed. Which is interesting. Here is a spinel that we have to use a bullet to get. Alright, when I pull this lever, time to fight. I think I'm gonna use the shotgun here. Because otherwise it's gonna get a little spicy. Shot too early, unfortunately, for me there. And the door's open. You can't leave until they're all dead, so that's not a waste of ammo. As you can see here, to get into the mausoleum, we need an explosive device. Because of course we do. And this chest has no lock or mechanism, so we don't know what to do with it. Interesting, huh? But we did open a grate, it said. Elsewhere in the built in the vicinity, so um, let's head over. I'm only going to kill zombies that are directly in my way. Like, 
ones that I don't think I can get around at all. Like, this guy here, I think he can just stay there the whole game. Like, he's not going to be a threat. That's a door we opened. These ones here, I don't think we'll... Hi. Oh, the dogs can be killed with a gun as well, actually, pretty easily. Okay. I don't know if we can blow these up. They're, like, all cracked, the mausoleums. So maybe we can. That goes out. I don't think we'll be going through here for a while. Over there is a very important enemy. And I think we have a grenade and a stamina syringe. Alright, so our maximum stamina increase there if you didn't notice. I don't think there's any reason to kill any of these guys. Because I don't really think I'll ever come out here again. So uh, we're just going to leave him. Here we are in the mausoleum, not mausoleum, the manor, sorry. We have this puzzle here. So as you can see, it choose the correct orientation, wait an instant and you might be rewarded. So you've got to gauge basically um, where each one of these is in the manor and the way they are facing. Okay, so I can tell you now, this one here is what Mars when we come in, and he is in the correct position, I think. Yeah, he was in the correct position. So he's facing towards the door as you come into the manor. These ones, I've got to go and double check because I can't remember, and we'll start off by going that way to the right and dealing with that one. This is where you're going to start seeing some more weird shit from here on out, guys, because the game gets really strange. Like, it, it's hard to describe how strange it gets, but it does get very strange. I'm going to save that grenade for a tough enemy later on. Watch me accidentally waste the grenade. We have a lot of places to go and see now, so let's go and look around. So in here, we have this guy who, if you talk to him, he's like, you shouldn't be here. I think he wants you to play chess with him, so we'll come back when we have some chess pieces. Excellent. Nothing in the closet here. I have yet to find the chess pieces to play chess with this lovely gentleman, but I'm sure we will eventually. All right, so this one, which is the one to the right, is facing north, um, east. So let's go and put that in position so we remember. So the right-hand side of the manor is, is dealt with then, you know what I mean? Oh, it's not actually, but still. So those two are in the, the front two are in the right position. We'll get all the others eventually. I will clear out this area now. Well, not clear out, because I don't know if I should kill everything here, but regardless. It's been three weeks since we arrived at the island. It basically consists of rocky shores, a big forest, and of course the manor and its attached lighthouse. The renovations are going smoothly. We've reformed the entire northeast area and now picking up the east hall. The landlord and half the team are also evaluating the lighthouse status. It seems there's a non-documented area below consisting of a basement connecting to a blocked old grotto. I try not to roam in the old area during night time. It gives me the creeps. We remark something curious. All lights and candles were lit, although no one remembers actually lighting them. Tomorrow we will be working in the inner garden. We've replaced the old well with a swimming pool, but there's still much to do around the greenhouse. Oh, that was, uh, lucky. All these guys are going to get in the way, so... Can't shoot that one in the head, obviously, because he's wearing... I think oh, I think it's meant to be a welding helmet, but, um... Yeah. That was quite a waste of bullets there by me, but, um, it is what it is. Be careful of bullets. Immediately waste all the bullets they possibly can. Just got to dig out here. Out here, we need a key, the raven key, to get here. There's two spots to dig here with the shovel. I'll worry about this later on. There's no need to go and kill these guys yet. Gonna get the shotgun out because there's another enemy here we have yet to meet. So these are curse pictures. 
Uh, they're very weak to the shotgun, but the pistol is pretty useless on them, to be honest with you. Alright, he's got a coin, so he has to die. That was much better than the last one. Because you never know when you're going to find another key that you might need. Alright, this guy, I'm going to... Not grenade. Ooh. Gonna get chewed on? No. I thought, do I waste like four bullets or do I use one shotgun bullet? And the answer is one shotgun bullet. Should probably look around for spinels more. I don't pay enough attention for them. Oh, there's a walkway up there. I've never been up there. Like, we're getting to areas that I haven't seen before. Alright, so that door there goes to the boss fight. Um, we are gonna go and do it, but I'm gonna go and run back around and save first with everything dead. Because I don't want to do this all over again if I die, and I probably will die at least once against him, because he's he's not an easy fight. Mainly down to stamina. Stamina is the hardest thing to manage in the game, and yeah, he will he will sap my stamina. Alright, let's see what I've got in my inventory. I've got shotgun, eight shotgun shells, grenade. I don't really want to use the grenade on him, because there's another enemy I want to save it for. Definitely want this fully loaded for the fight. But we may as well kill him now and get it ticked off. There is a lot of ammo and health in the room with him, so that's something at least. And I definitely will be using health. But the shotgun is really useful against him, and you'll see why. Not even because of its damage, it's because of the spread. Um, but you'll see what I mean. I'll probably die here a few times, just for the record. But we'll see. He won't trigger till I touch the door at the end, so. But it's basically these things. Oh, I can only carry a stack of those. Oh shit, I'm out of room for everything. I mean, it's not a big deal. I can come back for it, but like... I mean, I'm gonna use some here anyway. Alright, here we go. Spectral Knight is our boss. He hits you very easily. I would say too easily. Like, if your stamina ever runs out, you're fucked, basically. Well, fucked is a strong word. Maybe not fucked. What's my health looking like? Okay. Got him, I think. No, I haven't, because I ran out of bullets and didn't realize. Well, that went really badly. I'm in trouble now. Fighting him with this, this is going to be... Some bullshit. Going to be honest. Okay. Double hit? Are you fucking shitting me? My stamina is out. I am so dead. Heal. Heal. Reload. Just got to shoot one more thing off him and I've got him. Okay. Not as smooth as I'd hoped, but a lot smoother than the one I first fought him, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Alright. See, the medipatches do fuck all in the way of healing. But we are alive now, and the first boss has been defeated. Which is excellent for us. It means we can continue on our wondrous adventure without any consequences whatsoever. Problem is, I think there's an item up here that we need. And we have no room in our inventory. Excellent. Oh, actually, hang on. We will do in a minute. I'm such a genius, guys. Hang on. We've got the raven key. All those doors that we had marked with ravens. So this room is one of the quirky rooms. Ah, uh, there's an item here as well I want. Well, you know what? I'm going to go and use the grenade and come back for you in a minute. 
Watch me die here. Watch me fuck this up. I'm gonna go and save first, actually. But so far, this is all going pretty well. Um, way better than the, the, when I played it on stream. We're almost... In 36 minutes of recording, we are almost to where I was in two hours of stream time. So I've definitely learned the game's mechanics and how it plays a lot better than I previously did. And there's still some areas that we... that I've been to on stream that we haven't been to. And it'll be interesting to see how things pan out. Alright, first of all, we save. Inventory management is one of the biggest problems in this game. It's... it's and this is like... I play a lot of these PS2, a PS1 era clones, right? And like I've said before, one of the biggest issues is... I don't think the inventory management was always very fun in that era. And I do think it's something that potentially could be like, you know, like fixed or improved on. Or oh, pretzels buffing, oh my god. Alright, so over here there's this thing that kicked my ass. I think that should kill it. Excellent. And we get the shovel, which is called Dandy and is the best character in the game, as you're about to see. See? You know why he's the best character in the game? Because it's going to give us an inventory upgrade straight away off the bat here, which is excellent. Situation these past few days getting on my nerves. Amuse myself with digging and undigging stuff. I named my shovel Dandy. James was being tiresome about it, asked me to stop. I tied his legs and arms. He wasn't as tiresome when I buried him alive. If you want to play too, take Dandy, check for different lumps in terrain, hit them several times with Dandy. Well, we got a lot of backtracking to do and a lot of stuff to see now around the mansion. Um, with Dandy. And we got a lot of to explore that we haven't actually seen yet. So these guys are going to need to die. Get them out of the way. You know. And we have two new inventory slots, which is excellent, and we'll have some more shortly. Hi! Probably shouldn't have dug you up first, because I just remembered that you're there. Alright, goodbye. Don't need to come out here ever again, so, uh, done. Got some rifle ammo for a gun I don't have, which kind of sucks. Let's go and grab the key while we're here. I might drop the rifle ammo in the main hall. Because we don't have a rifle at the moment, so there's literally no point in hanging around with a rifle. So I'll try to explain this room very quickly to you, right? So we can go into this room. We'll go into this room on the ground floor moment. He won't do shit. He's just friendly. However, if you kill him or turn off the music, a bunch of friends will appear and they'll start like twerking towards you. It's so bizarre. I might do it once just to show you guys what it's like and then just leave the room because they reset. But it's it's utterly bizarre. I don't understand why it's in the game. Like, I mean, I guess I guess for comedy, I guess it's meant to be funny. But it's just so weird. It really is. It's utterly, utterly strange. And if I killed them all. Even the I killed all of them with a shotgun the other time. And it absolutely, like, nothing happened. It didn't unlock anything. I didn't get any items. It just seemed like a colossal waste of time meme room. Maybe there is more to it than I think, but, you know, it's hard to gauge, you know. Hard to tell. Regardless, we're going to go through the manor to explore other areas now. So you need the rose key to open those doors there, which we don't have yet, obviously. We have the raven key, so we can definitely get to other areas. But we can tie the mansion all up in a big circle now and loop, loop everything together, so that's what we're going to do first, okay? So this is the bosses. As you see, we've beaten one of them. We have the skeleton, which is in the mausoleum, I think, the butcher, and the gargoyle. Excellent stuff. This room confuses me, I'll show you why. I mean, there's a coin and ammo, which is excellent, right? Then there's this. Which damages you. I don't think you can shoot it, and it's just sort of there, and I have no idea what it's for or what you do, but I just thought I'd show you. I took damage from that, but whatever. 
rose symbol for that door too. The rose key seems to unlock some of the biggest doors in the game. Like the most impressive looking ones, you know. That's all that's down there. We're going to go through the dancing room now. I'll show you what happens in here. I'll waste one pistol bullet for it. See, and then they just start aggressively walking towards you. And they do damage if they hit you. But now everything's back to normal. And if you turn it off, they do it too, but there's there's no point, because there's nothing else in here. So you can just let him get on with his day. He's just really happy. Like there's no threat. It's just I don't I don't get the room at all. It's just so weird. Alright, we're gonna deal with some new enemies in this area, I think, from what I recall. I hate when there's stuff to open and there's nothing inside it, because you can't open everything. Right, this takes us to a place we've been before. Out here. So we're going to do a little digging out here now. Might be a bad idea with my inventory quite so full as it is, but fuck it. We'll have a quick look. Yeah, I can't take the shotgun shells, fuck. Um... You know what I'm going to do? This is a fairly easy to get to area. I'm going to drop some stuff here that we don't need for now. Do I drop the lead? Can I use... Oh, can I use the shovel to break things? Because if so, then I can get rid of um, the, uh, the pipe as well, right? Because I don't need it. That's an interesting idea, actually. I want to check if there's any mounds in here. I don't think there is, but... Nah, that's... And we need, I think, a rose key to go through here? Yeah. See, the rose key opens up so much of the man mana, but I haven't found it yet. Our health is not in a great position, is it? Let's be real. Oh, i tell you what I will do, actually. How many health things do we have right now? Four, yeah. I'll buy a fifth here for later on. Save it for a rainy day. Thank you. He says, "Hehehe, he, he, thank you." I like. I, actually, I reckon the tentacle monster more has a voice like, ha, 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 "Thank you," like that. I think. I think that's probably more like what a tentacle monster would sound like. You know, if it, if if I was a tentacle monster, that's what I'd want to sound like. No idea if I should kill this or not, though. Like, it's just there. Like, I could shoot it. We'll say that for now. Yeah, my inventory's still full as fuck, though. We'll loop round through here. I think this is a safer thing than going around digging everything up quite yet. Yeah, these. Alright, we now have room in the inventory. Alright, let's try this. Okay, excellent. All right, so this one is facing... The first one on there is facing directly north, the first one on that side. So let's go and put that in while I remember. But oh, they're so happy. So I'm going to drop the pipe here for now as well. I think that's facing north. So we just had... I actually think I remember this the way this one faces, which is that. Now this one, I don't know. But we can brood it? Hang on, this one's facing, not facing. What happened just then? I can't tell which way some of these are facing sometimes, I'm gonna be honest. No, we haven't got this one either, I just realised. Shit. Or do we? Fuck! Have they moved? I 
Oh fuck, we'll come back later on when we have the whole place opened up. My brain cannot handle it at the moment. Alright, got some ammo. It'd be nice if they had arrows, you know what I mean, under them. So here we have another one facing northwest, as you see. No, that would be northeast as well. Same as the one in the bottom corner. Oh, he's walking. Okay, uh, not quite sure what made him get so upset. He never did that before, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter that much. This takes us back somewhere now as well. This takes us into the kitchen, where this definitely was not here before. So he's getting prepped, but he's not quite ready yet. This takes us... Oh shit. I was gonna say, you're a bad picture, I can tell. Got a weird little toilet area here. Uh, another heal. That takes up another- Oh no! The, the, uh, actually, I use it, because my health's pretty fucked anyway. Okay. Should I keep an eye out for like toilet spinels as well? Do love a good toilet spinel, I'm not gonna lie. Sun symbol for that one. But yeah, this like what what is the purpose of this room really, other than that? Like, is it just for the ammo? It's such a weird little room to be there, you know what I mean? This puts us back into here, as you can see. So more progress made. And this loops us fully around again. So, let me just double check here. Okay. Oh, you have to do it all in one go from memory. So, this guy's facing that way. This guy's facing directly up. This guy's facing the same way as the one in the corner. This one's facing me. And this one... Are these facing the same way? No, they're not. Okay. This might work. Unless I'm missing one. In the middle there. Like, do I have to find another one, do you think? I think I'm missing a statue, guys. Although there's no glowy thing there, you know what I mean? There's no, like... Like, that could be more it. It's hard to tell. You know? Like, that's definitely that. Okay, that just isn't working, so we're gonna leave that for now. Hopefully I'll eventually figure out what I have to do with it.
Everyone's very therapeutic. Anyway, we haven't been upstairs here, which is where we're gonna go now. That didn't sound good. Oh, it's one of those uh, fireball things over there. Hi. When you shoot, they all start coming. Oh, I didn't even see you. God. That was a bit clutch there. Hadn't reloaded my gun either, like a fucking idiot. Oh well, at least it was only one hit. Another heal there. Really need those spinels for the other inventory upgrade, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because I could take it, I guess. Need to stop getting hit. This is the above of the dancing room. I don't know if there's anything else up here. Like, it seems fairly... Pointless. Oh, there's a locker. Maybe there's something inside it. Nope. Not even real. Well, that was a waste of time. But at least it's mapped out. I would say the statues that are in these rooms are different to the ones on the thing. So maybe I'm missing something. <coughs> that was some bad shooting there by me, holy shit. There's a moon symbol on that. That's locked from the other side. This we unlocked. And it gives us a shortcut, I think, back to the very first area we were in. It does indeed. Excellent. Well, we can open this with the raven key. So let's do that. Ah, we got the sapphire, which we can use to exchange for that note in the garden. No idea how useful that is, but it doesn't take up an inventory slot, so that's already excellent news. Okay, cool. It's like a little secret room. I think there are other places we can use the Raven Key as well that we haven't yet. Oh yeah, in the kitchen. Didn't mean to go in that room, but I did, and I kept on walking towards the door at the same time. Okay, he just spawned, right? Also, why couldn't I hit him? Are we going to have spawning zombies to deal with now as a regular occurrence? It's possible, right? Mind you, I think we heard him walking around upstairs that time. I'm not worried about the butcher at the moment because I need to play the flute to piss him off, so... Alright. Buy another key. Can buy whatever the fuck that is for three spinels, but I'd rather get the inventory upgrade for now because, like, the inventory stuff is, like... really bullshit. I will come back for you, though. You're like my friend. It looks like a pie. I know, I think it's a gemstone of some description, but we probably need it for something. Yesterday I had an incident with old Perkins. I was playing my flute at the courtyard and he stuck his head in the kitchen window and yelled at me like crazy. I was so scared I buried the flute under a tree near the well. It's hard to see. He never leaves his kitchen preparing the meat the hunters bring him. I wouldn't dare play it again near it as the music seems to infuriate him. I could also tell my father the landlord he would have fired him, but Perkins also mentioned that if I told anyone, I would be added to the menu. Wow, what a nice guy. So we need to find that flute and dig it up. It's buried near the well. I actually have no idea where the well is, so that's going to be a fun little experience looking for it. Because this is all new from here on out for me. All new, guys. But we have a lot of digging to do. A lot of digging. So I think we'll... Uh... Like, I don't get... It reads the unknown god. See, like, I, I did draw the arrows for them. So I know those are right. We've got the downstairs latch unlocked as well now, so this is all accessible very easily. Excellent.
Maybe I need to read the bottom of all the statues? It's, pro it's possible, I guess. We are only one spinel away from getting that inventory upgrade. Maybe we'll get lucky digging. Oh, that was not lucky so far. Oh, that's what the pallet was. We're gonna head all the way back down now to the beach and shit, and um, hopefully dig up some interesting stuff. Should have just killed you the first time around, to be honest with you. We're kind of in the way. Like this guy, less so. But the first guy, he is in the way a bit. Don't know if this guy gets up. He probably does. Ugh, rifle ammo. I can I can always leave it somewhere. All right, and there was one more all the way back at the start. Maybe two more, actually. All the way back at the start. Watch them be like super rare items and I can't hold them. Or some shit. Oh, in my luck. Need to find where the well is on the map because I've no idea where it is. And we need to dig up the flute so we can fight the butcher because that'll be another boss down. And I'm pretty sure all clues are pointing to that's the next one we need to fight, you know. We got magnum ammo and rifle ammo. Two things I can't fucking use. And I can't dig this up, so it was literally just for some ammo. I mean, I guess that's something. I guess that's kind of cool. I'll drop these two in the garden with the other ammo and we'll, uh, we'll have them all, like, saved out there. You know, for later on. Now I've got to find out where to go. Find the well. And all that shit, because we got... A lot more to do. I will be right back, guys, once I figured out the path onwards for now, okay? Because I have no idea where the best bet to go is at the moment. So, there are some room doors in here I haven't tried. Like this one. We haven't been through here yet. I don't know this area at all now, so... Gotta check for spinels in the closets, you know. Rose lock. Ah. Oh, if I make any noise in here, they're gonna they're gonna come and get me. Can I kill him with this? I'm gonna have to kill him with this and take the damage. Urbanism plan sample. What the fuck is this a picture of? A print screened it, but I've no idea what it is. Definitely part of a puzzle, but I, I couldn't tell you what the fuck it's for. Could be literally anything. Yeah, if you fire a gun, those things wake up. Oh, that's why the guy behind the bar got, got he came to the rescue of that guy as well. Interesting. All right, is there anywhere else I haven't been? I feel like I've been everywhere. Like, in the entire mansion. Nope, there's a door here I haven't been to as well on the other side. Okay. There is a hedge maze outside. I wonder if that's, like, the layout for the hedge maze, but I don't know how to get into the hedge maze. Is the, is the issue. Could be! Oh, there's a coin there. I have you. Never know when that'll come in handy. I might better buy some more heals or ammo if I'm desperate, things like that. Yeah, there's one door I haven't tried in here. I probably find I'll probably find this locked, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, but we'll see. It's this one here. This is this is totally locked. Oh no, this is the Raven key. Shit. We have that. Oh, this is the urbanism planning room. It's all right. Let me get my paint open and paste that screenshot into it so I can see it on my other screen. I will say, 
There's no way you could do this from memory. Like, not in a million fucking years. No fucking way. Alright, so... Should be... One... Two... Three... Nope. This is gonna suck, isn't it? No, well that's right. One, two, three. What? This is literally what it fucking says. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. So it's one, two, one. This is really jank. Then it's past two. One, two. Because it's not to scale, so it makes it really confusing. Then past two. Then past one this way. One this way. One this way. Two that way. One this way. One this way. Then we're through. And we have the explosives for the mausoleum. Interesting. Well, we know where to go now. and We've made some solid progress here. Excellent. Raven Key's still got uses in it too, which is interesting. Well, I'm assuming it's still got uses. Like, I guess I don't know if the keys vanish. No, they do, because the, the other keys will vanish when we use them all. When we use them up, so... Well, we know where the mausoleum is, and we can get there really easily with, I don't think, any confrontations at all. So let's go and do that. I think I want a gun with much more oomph to it before I take on the gargoyle, to be honest. Just hearing him sort of, like, fly around up there is actually pretty intimidating. He's like, oh my god, I just want to be a little shot at Numkin, don't mind me. I think I'm going to wait till I've got like the rifle or the magnum to shoot him. Although I'm assuming there's going to be a big boss too, that's probably going to need even more firepower to beat. It's one of the things I'm worried about, is running out of resources. It happens a lot to me in these games. Alright. We saved, we're on like half health. Back the fuck away. Pretty sure this is going to be a boss fight. Well, I'm almost out of shotgun shells, I just realized. So that's not a good position to be in. A lot of bullets, but he's dead. Well, deader than he already was, I guess. Because I think he was probably... I'm not an expert on, like, uh, the physiognomy of the human body, but uh, he looked pretty dead. Surely the other boss is... I'm, I'm going to probably die here and lose. That's not good. Fuck. Okay, I did not expect to come across giant spiders, but here we are. It's just minding its own business too, doing like, just chilling. I opened a gate somewhere. Hey, at least we found some items, I guess. 
God, that thing is really horrible. Like, really, really gross looking. The low pixel spider. I love it. Alright, where does this take us? To the hedge maze. Oh, that sounds fucking bad. Because they can walk through the fucking maze, can't they? And I can't. Yep. Excellent. Hopefully we find something cool, though, at least, at the end of this. Not just some pistol ammo times eight. Although that is, that is welcome, considering we're using quite a lot here. Definitely will take those and just immediately load them into my gun so they don't take up an inventory slot. But there's got to be, like, a progress item in here. That looks ominous as fuck. Hi! Papia! You scared the shit out of me. Fucking Papia, there's a, there's a zombie here too. I can hear it. Yeah, this is bullshit. This is so lame. The enemies grabbing you through the fucking hedge maze sucks. It really does. Please give me a save. Before I die. I mean, it's not a save, but... I'm gonna do this. Note found. 807. Okay, I guess that's probably important for later on. I'd, I'd like to... I really like the heal, but... I feel like this is a death trap here. This is the other side of the hedge maze. Oh my god, I'm so fucked with this. Fuck you! I am gonna get through my heels here rapidly, because these are, this is just bull. You can't tell where they're coming from, so you're just fucked. Yeah. Alright, that one's down at least, without hitting me, I mean. Was it worth it for the five ammo? I mean, I gained two. I guess it probably was. Felt like I'm headed for a lot of trouble here, though. There's another puppy here in here, I'm definitely fucked with that. I, 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 I see you, I see you. I am dreading running into something far worse here. Oh, this is a mini-game thing. I really want to save my game. What is this guy? Oh. <laughs> this is bait! That's so bait! What the fuck? There's no save? What do I get? Oh, I get an, I, if I get 110, I get a really good upgrade. This is going to be much harder. Is it shotgun? Oh god, the reload on this is going to suck as well.
Why didn't that count as loading? I don't get it. Sometimes it doesn't count that you've reloaded the gun, which is really bad. Fuck you! See? Doesn't count, even though you've definitely done it. Suck a dick, game. Absolutely suck a dick. A hundred and ten, I think I need, right? For the fucking top score. There's no way you can do it with this fucking gun. I got one of the fucking rewards, the fucking grenade. Getting, getting a hundred and ten with this piece of shit weapon? Suck a dick. I'll come back later on. Ah, uh, that sucked. That gun's awful. Alright, watch me die. Let's just go back to the main hall. Oh my god, it does. Well, we can open half the doors in this fucking building now. And get to places that we were a minute ago really easily. So, I think that was probably all worth it in the grand scheme of things. This is a boss fight. Against Gargoyle Chan. Right? No? Maybe we need to bring something out here for Gargoyle Chan, you know what I mean? I'm gonna load and keep my ammo. Although, which one's my most recent save? I can't tell, because they all look the same! No! No! Fine, I'll keep the ammo lost, because I can't remember. It needs to say the date on your saves, okay? That is very, very normal. And should be a hundred percent the 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 main way games all do that. Please add that developer person. I know I know you watched me stream, so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, it's a really big deal to put dates on saves. Wow, lo a big new area here. Like, right in the- see how big this is? Holy shit, we have a lot of exploration to do. I'm not gonna pick a fight with creatures though, if I don't need to. Like... Mmm... That's ammo. God damn it. Oh, I got them all. No, I didn't. How come that didn't kill you two fucks? That was probably not worth it, but fuck it. What's here? Oh, the flute. Okay, so I did have to get past all of them. So that was probably worth it in the end. I have to play the flute in the kitchen, I guess, to, uh, to trigger the fight. We'll definitely save before that, especially with my health and ammo situation not being ideal right now, I'm going to be honest. Could be some interesting stuff here as well. Let's have a look. This should just go back to the main hall here with the bar. Yeah. Everything is kind of coming together. Actually, I should unlock all the latches, right? So I can come back here whenever I want from now on. Oh, that one I can't. I guess that's an area it doesn't want us to go just yet.
Oh, this is new. You scared the shit out of me, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect someone to be in here. Is there literally nothing? Oh, no. There's a heal. Which I should use immediately. Oh, no. Mm. I guess we're okay at the moment. Garbage bag heal. The best kind of heal. I don't know if I play the flute in the in the butchers like or outside the window. Like it's hard to gauge. What is this little building? Other than bad news. That's a spider. Oh, these are like the regenerators in Resident Evil 4. Okay. Just drop the key for a second. Pick up this. Use it. Pick up the key again. That requires a simple key. Well, I might as well use the fucking simple key I've got and take the and combine the magnum ammo with all the other stuff in the other room. Is there room if I reload? Hmm. Got too much shit, guys. Drop that for a second. Pick up these. Reload them into the gun. Pick up that. Oh, we're all good. Should keep looking for spinels. I probably walked past a few at this point because I haven't seen any for a while. And that's probably a sign that I'm an idiot. The trapdoor is closed from below. Okay, so that's a shortcut for later on. This game's massive. Absolutely massive. Oh, that's kind of adorable. I like the frog. Where does this take me? Okay. Somewhere I don't want to be just now. Oh, this is probably where we play the flute, right? Outside the window here. It almost definitely, it almost guaranteed is, but I'm going to say before I use it. There's like no way in a million fucking years that I am going to play that flute without having a save dropped. Hi guys. I'm not too worried about you guys' existence here right now. What's in here? This is the bar. Where is the nearest save to here, is the question. In the hall over that way? Yeah. We'll head over there and save, and then we'll come back and try and upset our, our uh, butcher friend, who I'm sure is going to submit easily to my skills. Probably not, I'm gonna be honest. Looks like we need to bring an item for the gargoyle. You know, so the gargoyle's like, oh, so numb. Nom 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 nom, like that. Alright, saving in the first fucking slot. With just a pistol, I'm a little concerned this is gonna go nowhere, but um, it is what it is, we'll give it a try. Like, I don't know how dangerous he is. The other boss was really dangerous, so... The item can't be used here. So do you think it's outside his window? Hmm. Maybe right outside the curtain? Yeah. <laughs> this is a terrible idea, holy shit! <gasps> what? 
This is like Evil Within! This is just like Evil Within! Please let me get this. And a save point. It's very nice of them to put this here. God, that scared the shit out of me. Does that count as him gone, do you think? Surely not. This is the shop, right? That we see from the other way, yeah. There's no way that counts as him dealt with, right? <laughs> what is this? I can't take it because my inventory is full, but that's okay. What is this guy? Hi! You guys look sexy today. Everything is a fucking disaster right now. I can't pick up half the shit I need. I feel like I'm walking into a death trap here. Oh, bullshit. That was really bad shooting by me. Wasted two shotgun shells and a bunch of other shit. Okay, so this is unlocked now. Excellent. Well, what I'm going to do is drop some shit here, then go back down and see what the fuck that thing is. And drop the raven key as well, because I haven't seen a use for it for a while. Alright, you guys stay there. I'll be back in a minute. All right. You're nearly my inventory upgrade, alright? There must be a spinel. Probably in this basement, now I think about it. Spinels are the best things to keep in basements. Hiding, glowing. Luring me in with their beautiful charms. You need something to open the trap door. Oh, it's the hook from the other room. Right? I'm gonna drop a save, and then I'm gonna go and risk it, okay? That was cool little tribute to the Evil Within. Dev. If you watch this video all the way through, I don't know if you will, but if you do, I'll link it to you. If you watch this all the way through, I wanna say that was really cool. I don't like the Evil Within, I think it's really bad, but the first one, I like the second one. But um, this was still, oh, there was ammo there. But this is still, it's really cool to see those little references. And as a horror fan, you kind of get them, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, that's, that's so nice. Alright, let's see what happens when I pick up this. It was rifle ammo, by the way, there. Is there nothing in here? No, there he is. Well, I forgot to reload my gun. He's gone invisible, as one does in this situation usually.
Might die here. How many shotgun shells do I have? One left. Oh no. Four. Probably one more wave, I'm gonna guess, after this. Yeah. Fuck. Bad, bad, bad! Oh, thank fuck. Any more shotgun shells left, or am I out? Got one left. Should be enough to put him down. Like, with that and the pistol combined, I mean. Oh my god, it does no damage! Are you fucking kidding me? Do I have to have a full fucking clip to beat him? Headshots seem to do more, but I'm, I'm fucked, I think, guys. Oh bullshit! Oh, I'm not. I'm not happy about that. That was bullshit. All right, finally. Holy shit! That was very, very challenging. But I managed it without using too many heals this time. But I used a lot of ammo. Like I'm, I'm pretty fucked on ammo now. But that is two of the game's bosses down at this point. Hopefully a great deal more to come. I don't know how many sessions this is going to take. Like, I'd like to think two, but maybe three? I'm trying to desperately finish these long plays before I go on a little vacation. My mum is house-sitting, but I don't think I can trust her to uh, edit and upload long plays while she's here. I think it would be a disaster. Into the greenhouse? Yep. Well, we have a lot more places the rose key can go, so I guess it's time to start unlocking those and seeing what we can find. But I'm very glad the butcher is dead. Alright, let's look on this floor and see where the rose key doors are. Are there any more? Oh yeah, there's one in the graveyard. The one in the area outside there. And there's one on the floor above me as well. I guess we should do the one on the floor above me first because it's like the closest, so let's go and do that. But progress has been made. Victory is mine. The butcher is dead. Ding dong. Yeah, in here on the right. Just items and inventory stuff. Oh, okay, holy shit. Probably should have come here first, right? Shouldn't I? Jesus. Well, I'm fine health now, which is good. Don't want to use the next, uh, the other one because I don't think it's uh, worth it. Alright, now let's go to the one by the save point outside. I'm trying to think of the best way of getting there. Oh, out here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't know why we can't fight the gargoyle from where we are in that outside area. Like, he seems to just be like, well, whatever. It's possible I need to solve the statue puzzle first, but I don't really get it. I'm gonna be honest with you. But that's just me. And I'm incompetent. Probably should have saved here, actually. Definitely, I'm gonna save here. Oh, shit. Interesting. Oh god, this place looks absolute shite. It's big too, look. 
Holy shit. All right. Very quickly, I'm going to say before we go out here and explore the uh, cursed forest that seems to be unfolding before me. Fortunately, we have lots of pistol bullets left. There's the rifle. God, we have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I, I need to drop because I just don't have room for everything, you know? I'll drop the trapdoor pole. I'll drop the pistol ammo for now. Let's load the shotgun up. What is that? Okay, and the last bullet does load in. And then we'll drop the shot. We'll drop the medi patch here. And that should be enough, hopefully, to pick up things in this area. But we'll see. Another gun is a lot to manage right now. There's another one over there. You can tell by it's like happy, smiling puppy. Oh, thank God. We have crossed our inventory slots again. Jammed and can't be opened. I must have missed a spinel, by the way, somewhere that I just didn't go for. Oh, wow. I'm guessing this might damage it if you step in it. Oh, it's an invisible wall. Interesting. The fog is far too dangerous to get through. And it looks like this building's probably off limits. You gonna come? Probably shouldn't have done that, but it is what it is. Okay. I guess we should try t climbing this massive tower here. It's not massive, but bigger than average tower. Probably not even that. Probably not even that. Oh, shit! No way. This is going to be probably really bullshit, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, the timing on something like this, that looks ridiculous to me. Yeah! And I knocked it down into that garden for a fight later on. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, it's raining. Interesting. I do wonder if this is a, for something. You know? Let's just get back to the save point for now. Okay, so we knocked the gargoyle down. Problem is, most of the guns are fucking useless against the fucking gargoyle. You know what I mean? Like, most of the guns are going to be just fucking inept at, the gar at doing anything. And the rain is that Hi! Yay. Oh wow, it's going to shit. Shit's getting real. Alright, I'm gonna save and see how ridiculous this boss fight is. Got lots of heals. Not got anything else, though.
There's no way this is dead. As I said, no way this is dead. Oh look, more running around in a narrow room to fight a boss. In an incredibly awkward environment, this time with no bullets. Excellent. Hi. That's pretty bullshit. Maybe I'll beat this first time. I managed to avoid it this time. That was bullshit. Yay! Gargoyle defeated! Two in rapid succession this time. Holy shit! Did not expect to do that okay against the gargoyle first try, but I did. Holy shit. Okay. That should mean, if we go in here, that two more of the seals will break. Yep. There's only one left. And that's really fucking cool. Question is, though... Where the fuck do I go now? Because I've already been... It feels like everywhere now. Like, I don't have any more rose key areas I can see. Like, those are still marked, but I've already been in them. So I really am at a bit of a loss on where I'm meant to be going. I clearly need other keys to get into this one, and th there's a sun chest outside and things like that. Huh. Interesting. I didn't mean to go through that door, but it is what it is. Let's go and, uh, and save the game before I do anything else. Crazy amount of progress, though. I mean, I'm guessing it must be something to do with this puzzle in the middle, but I have no idea how to do it. You know? I am worried about supplies. I have four ri I, I didn't actually use all the rifle ammo there because I couldn't reload the fucking gun while I was moving, which is insane. Drop that. And drop that. I don't need the ballista bots anymore. I've got three heals still, which is actually not too bad. Loads of pistol ammo. And I couldn't go back for the other stuff. I left stuff lying around outside that is probably worth going to get. <sighs> Holy shit. I'm happy about, like, getting the bosses down, but I actually genuinely feel completely lost now as to where I need to go. You know? Like, I can't see anything I've missed other than this central puzzle. Oh, there's a door there that I didn't try, apparently, right at the end. Look. Huh. Did I really not try that? Well, I guess there's a place to check out. Alright guys, we're playing some more Dread Beacon today. It is a uh, fresh day. Gotta remember which one of these was my save, I'm pretty sure it's 143. It's the by far the most latest one, so that makes sense. <clears throat> I spoke to the dev of the game to give me an idea of where I should go and what I should be doing. So now I have a much better idea on uh, what I need to do. Uh, I also went and expanded my inventory, I got another Spinel. Um, 
So I have the inventory, I think almost maxed. I think there's one more slot. Oh no, maybe two more slots after this. See? But um, I have a lot more inventory space right now. And I have all the guns in my inventory. And I have this, the trap door pole, which is the basically what I needed to progress with the game. I think I have about three bosses left um, overall. I don't know what to do with these statues still, but I didn't ask, so, you know, that would explain why. I think one might be in here, so we didn't use these at all. So, off we go. We now have access to the attics. And in the attics, we need to find various things. It requires a simple key. Shit, we don't have one of those at the moment. There actually might be another one for sale in one of the merchant rooms that I'm going to have to go and check out. Definitely a lot more exploration that we need to do. There are two attic areas at least as well. Well, we got a sapphire and we got the rifle ammo. So the sapphires are important. Because you remember when I traded one of the sapphires for um, a piece of code? We need to do that again. Now the question is, will I be able to find the right trader to do that? Stay tuned. But you need the code in order to open a door to progress through the game. Fortunately, I will say something that is very handy. You can see the traders on the map. I think it might be the one in the basement. Can't for the life of me remember how to get there, but I think it might be the one in the basement. So, um, we'll go and have a look around and see what we can find, okay. Oh, I never looked around the butcher's area, but it doesn't look like there's a lot here. It's just sort of chill. That fight was tough. By far the toughest one so far. Well, they do have another key, so we'll buy that here. I don't know what this is still, but we need spinel to get it, so. Hopefully it's not like a required item, but I guess we'll find out if it is. Ah, here's another one. I must have bought it from somewhere else. Okay, so I found the next part of the code. I need one more, and it's from a merchant I definitely haven't come across yet. So let's get to the other attic, and then we'll be able to put together what exactly is going on here. It's a three-part code, and you need to find those gemstones to get it. So, unlike in, like... Resi 4, you actually 100% need to find those particular treasures. I don't think you need to find all the spinels, but um, you need to find those particular treasures 100%, which is interesting. What I'm going to do is pull back up into the attic here very quickly, because um, I've got the uh, key to open this now, so I may as well uh, open this little lockbox here and get more uh, supplies. But everything else here seems to be locked off. But I think on the opposite side now, there is another area that I can use to um, <clears throat> uh, get into the attic through the uh, bouncy man room here. They're so friendly. This room makes me happy now. Like, it's not scary. It's just awesome. Still haven't found any chess pieces to play with uh, this fuck in here. I'm not even sure we will, to be honest with you. I don't really know. But there should be, uh, in here, I think, another way up somewhere. If not, the dev very kindly sent me a map, so um, I can double check in a minute. I may be wrong about it being in here. Although I definitely see the room and stuff, so... Hmm. All right, let's have a look. Do they appear on the map? That's a good question. That one does as like an arrow, which is interesting. So maybe that's that, maybe that's one there.
That would definitely look like it probably is one. So let's head over there. Where is that? Oh, it's... I know where it is. It's way back at the start of the game. But I do know where it is. Cool. There it is. It shows up very clearly on the map, actually. I, like, I'm just oblivious to shit sometimes. Alright, that's unlocked. Well, there's the other shop. We just need one more... thing. To get the code. Hang on. I haven't saved for ages, I'm in trouble here. Alright, heal for a start, because I'm getting my ass kicked by furniture. Okay. Jesus Christ. This room is dangerous as fuck. I was like, oh, some nice fine art. Gets absolutely fucking wrecked seconds later. Jesus Christ. What does this go? Does this connect up with the other one? Can't shoot. If we shoot, we're dead. Wonderful. Can shoot. Will shoot. We'll shoot everything. We'll kill all of these. Get your aggressive bottom away from me. Bottom? Okay, we definitely have no bullets left for this. Yeah, there's no way I was getting through here without killing everything. Okay, that could have been a lot worse though, I'm gonna be honest with you. Alright. Oh, there's the shotgun shells that I just used. Really should have saved before coming up here. I don't know why I'm such an idiot. Alright. Okay, so we have... The, we're missing part of the code for this. That's what we need to do. We need to input the code, and then we can get in this door and progress. But we need the other artifact first, which I'm pretty sure that painting that was shooting arrows at me probably has, I'm going to be honest with you. So, I think what I'm going to do is pop down and save, because I don't want to lose all my progress that I just made. And then we'll try and tackle the... Um, the lovely painting again. There's another key there, but it's for more spinels, and I've missed a lot of spinels at this point. Like, a lot. Just gonna run to a nearby save point. There's one not too far away. Suppose that clock hasn't had some awful clock puzzle. It's like a trope of the genre. Horrific, horrific... Um... Puzzles like that. I've got a lot more of these, by the way. There's like a, a big trend at the moment, right, towards this genre uh, of like classic survival horror type stuff. If you like them and you want to see more, I think this one is definitely uh, considerably above average uh, from the ones that I've played. Um, let me know because um, they're good, like, filler for when there is no major releases coming out as well. You know what I mean? Like, we got. Um, Callisto Protocol and Choo Choo Charlie next month as major releases, and then in January we just have Dead Space, and we have Atomic Heart. There's quite a few coming, but, you know, there's gonna be quite a lot of downtime between shit, so, like, um, if, uh, if you want to see stuff, please, uh, please let me know. Alright, let's try not to die here this time. I'm just gonna reload this with the two shotgun shells I have. This looks bad. Oh 
Oh my god, there's a magnum and we need a simple key for both. Oh, we have to go spinel hunting. We have to go spinel hunting. Like, there's no way we can't. We, we need to go spinel hunting because we need another key for the magnum and... I mean, we need this more than the magnum, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Well, I haven't been done a lot of spinel looking around lately. So, um, I guess it's time that I started. I wonder if I can find a guide <laughs> to what the spinel locations are so I don't have to spend days looking for the fucking things. I have done very badly at finding them in the second half of the game. Regardless, we'll press on for now. I got a new note. Maybe we can find a key that doesn't cost spinels as well to get at least one of those out of the way. Maybe I should get the Magnum. I don't fucking know. I'm just looking everywhere now, like spinel, 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 spinel. Might be a while, be some downstairs, so we don't know. Anyway, um, so it's going to be four five one eight zero seven three six two. I've already forgotten. Four five one eight zero seven. Three six two. Progress. That looks really bad. I'm gonna be honest. Well, I'm glad I bought the rifle. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, full heal. Holy shit, yeah. Are we in the lighthouse? This looks like the control mechanisms maybe for it. Or oh, it's like a server room, right? I always thought this was set like, in, like a long time ago, but I guess not. Okay. This very likely a boss fight coming up. I'm gonna be real. Let's see what's in here. Just save, so... If I get abs- Oh, no! There's that missing last statue! Holy shit. There's a lot. A lot more to go, guys. Sun key. We haven't got the sun key. We have the rose and the raven. Which I do have with me right now. I have everything except the metal pole with me. That's where I came in, right? So once we have the sun key, that will be useful. I'm hoping we get a key from the here without fighting a boss, maybe. But we'll, we'll see. Alright, that thing absolutely wrecked me last time I fought it. However, in this instance, the rifle is a far more useful tool than uh, I ever thought possible. Okay, one more spinel and we can unlock one of those things. Which is excellent. I'll check that in a minute. Let's look around where we are. This is like a whole new fucking floor. What did I do that? Why am I an idiot? Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. <sighs> Alright. Definitely want to use the rifle on them. They're too fast for, uh, for normal bullets. I'm not even sure I should be exploring this area yet. Like, this is like labs and shit. So this was the other wing they were all working on. 
The excavation has been going on for two months, so after a lot of digging and debris clearing, he found some kind of antechamber in a huge doorway. On two pedestals in front of a door, there were two devices, an ancient dagger and some kind of unknown tool, and the future referred to them as Artifact A and Artifact B, respectively. The door opened by itself when we retired the artifacts. I've ordered to carry them to the laboratory in the new wing, and I'll check what's behind the doorway with some of the crew. I'll continue writing when we know more. Okay. Excellent. Really glad to find you, Medipatch. Thank you. Can we open any of these? There's another, I know there's another door here, but... Alright, we got Don... Oh, fuck. Alright, he's gonna go for me, the dancer is. Oh no, what the fuck is this shit? Some kind of bizarre puzzle. That's another statue as well, which is weird. Alright, this goes back to the previous wing? Oh my god, it does. Like, where are we? Oh shit! Yeah, we're by the clock. The clock I was literally just talking about. Excellent. Alright, so that all ties around. I should probably save while I'm here. It makes sense to drop a save, as it's just down around the corner. We haven't found the sheet music for the extra room either, now I think about it. Which is not, I mean, it's not a big deal, but it'd be nice to find it, right? We now know the one with the furthest away time is the one that I need to save, because like, they have played longer than any other playthrough I've been on, so we're good on that front. Coins are good. Get more ammo we can get with coins. We've got, I've probably got quite a lot of coins that I could spend on getting a ton of ammo. Oh shit. Hi. Oh fuck off. Oh this is new. Yeah. Fuck you. I mean that could have gone a lot worse. So he sells rifle ammo here as well. Interesting. There's so much to look at and so much to explore. I'm overwhelmed. But in a kind of good way. So this is above, like, the locker room. Where does this take me? Okay, this takes me back to where I was. Okay. Nothing new there. How many, how many coins do I have? Nine? You know what? Fuck it. Let's take the rifle, am I? This takes us back. This, this has just tied up everything now. Like, everything is connected now, which is good. We're all connected. There's no escape. I hope you guys don't mean mommy drinking, by the way, in these long plays. Spinel! Sorry, I got overcame with excitement there. Spinel. Which means one thing, we're, we're doing this now. We're doing this fucking now. I'm moist. We're doing this now. God, I'm lucky today. I'm gonna get the inventory upgrade first, I've decided. Because the rifle seems good enough at dealing with most shit at the moment. Which way was it? To the rifle. This way, I think. To the to the to the things. I think it was this way. Nope, it was the other way. I'm an idiot! But yeah. This is definitely above average. There's a few other games I want to play, like... A lot of people have been asking me to play Eternal Evil. I'll tell you my experience with Eternal Evil, and I will probably give it another shot. I played it when it was in early access, but it was still a full, complete game. Like, it just wasn't fully released. And I couldn't get past, like, the first room. <laughs> Which was not a good situation, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, inventory slots have been increased. We need another simple key, though, to get the magnum. What 
which hopefully exists. Otherwise, I really fucked myself. Oh, I bought magnum. God damn it, I bought magnum ammo. I thought that was fucking rifle ammo. We definitely need to get the magnum now, otherwise I feel like a complete fucking idiot. But yeah, um, Eternal Evil I kept dying on, like, really early on. But I, I'll definitely give it another chance. It's like, it's got, like, vampires instead of zombies. So it's not, like, quite what you'd expect. And they are very, very hard to deal with. They sort of, like, keep coming relentlessly. I feel it's another example of, like, creating something from this era that's way harder than most of the stuff from this era. Alright. I'll make a note of this, but I think something is definitely wrong with... So this one is heading... is pointing... this way. Okay. Which is interesting, because it's really different to what I'd expect it to be. Alright, we're gonna change guns here. How many rifle bullets do I have? I have seven. It's not a lot. Hey. Took way more damage than I wanted from that fuck there. I mean, I knew this was a massive trap. But did not expect a very large man to barrel down on me there, I'm not gonna lie. How many many? We have five many patches. I guess it's not the end of the world. We're doing alright for health. May even have a separate stack of them. A lot of the bosses, I've noticed, once I do them a few times, like, I can do it without getting hit. I was the only one that made it out the chamber. We should have never entered it. Now before our eyes, the horrible truth appears. The place rests above an inhuman creature which is now slowly awakening and its influence is driving all our people mad. In order to stop it, we need both artifacts back in the place where it's too late. For now, it's satisfied with acting from below. Its appendage is slowly creeping everywhere and climbing the island's peak point, the lighthouse, preventing us to leave or someone to arrive. They took artifact A, and in our mistake while researching it, we split it off to put B into three parts. All I know about the whereabouts is written on the note inside the main office's safe. We came to this island expecting the next big archaeological discovery of the decade, and we only found madness and horror. Well, we got to find both artifacts and one split in three, which is going to make our job so much more exciting, I'm sure. That was sarcasm, by the way. It's going to suck. But it's okay. We'll find everything, I'm sure, eventually, probably. Oh, this opens. I did not expect that. Oh, it's a, it's one of these. What have you got? Oh, an ammo belt for 65. Oh, that's so sexy. I've got to try. I love the way that it started off with my gun empty. That should be illegal. This is going to really suck, isn't it? That's how you do it. I'll do that in the future. I didn't realize how important this was. Bullshit. I hit that dead on. Did I do it? First try. I did! Rifle reload and aim time reduced. I got an upgrade for the rifle. And I got grenade. Oh my god, that's awesome! So I got an upgrade. For the rifle. Oh, it reloads so much quicker now, look! Oh my god. I should do the shotgun one. It probably was really worth it. Because the shotgun's bollocks, I'm gonna be honest with you. Alright, let's just leave, because we can't go the other guns here. Alright.
Well, I'm really happy about that, but I'm also worried about my lack of ammo for guns if we run into a boss fight suddenly and unexpectedly. Moon symbol. We don't have that key either. There's going to be a big guy in here. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear big guys. How many... Right, how many, how many shotgun shells? A three. It's probably enough to take down a big guy if I shoot him in the face. That is not a big guy. It's a baby. Almost said it's a dead baby, but I probably shouldn't say that. Oh shit, am I out of pistol ammo? I'm out of ammo for everything, I just realised. Oh fuck. I'm in a bad place. This is the lowest I've been on ammo the entire time. Great more heals, but not great. I'm fucked on ammo. I was doing so well on ammo and now I'm fucked. Oh god. Our ammo situation is not great. In fact, it's terrible. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Fuck! Could be in a real, real bad spot here. The only condolence is the bosses do tend to give out ammo beforehand. Alright, so we have some horrific puzzle here that looks awful. Oh, you can move all of it? Oh, that doesn't, that's not good. It's not good at all. Some weird look. It looks like if something serrated goes in there. Maybe one of the artifacts? Oh, I see. We have to build a man. And this goes back out to where we were, right? I really need to spend time looking for coins as well, otherwise I'm gonna just be fucked. Oh god, my resources are so... Heals, we're okay on. Everything else, we're fucked. Like, completely fucked. I should've got the magnum. God damn it, I didn't realize how fucked I was on pistol ammo. Well... Let's see if we can do this. Oh no, it's one of these fucking things. That makes it even worse. I didn't realize it was one of these worst fucking puzzles in human history that no one likes doing or has ever enjoyed at any point ever. Oh god. I hate I hate these traditional these traditional puzzles. Like, I hate sliding puzzles, I hate puzzles where you fucking I hate puzzles! Ban puzzles in video games. They remove all fun and they just suck. Okay? Ban them. Where does this take me? Alright, back out here. Not particularly helpful. But I've unlocked the door now. Everything is kind of connected in one big loop of shit. Alright. I really don't want to do this. I fucking hate these so much. Alright, I'll be back in a while, guys, when I eventually figure out what on... Oh my god. Okay, that was horrible. I would rank that as one of my least favorite puzzles of the entire year in a horror game. Uh, without a guide, there's no way I would have managed to get that. I, I had to watch a video to do that. It was just... I, I that, that, oh, that was ridiculous. Uh, you have to use all the pieces to get the other pieces, pretty much. Well, three of the pieces to get the other pieces. It's... Oh, God. I hated it. I absolutely hate it. Like, I... I, I if without, without a guide... That would have been, like, almost unplayable for me. I, I, I don't think I could have stood it, done it. I have no bullets. Gonna have to take the hits here. I probably should have done this the entire time. I say as I lost nearly all my health, I just realized. So maybe I shouldn't have done that the whole time.
I'm gonna fuck this up, I think. Nope. Can I fuck this one up, though, is the question. I feel I did that in the best way I possibly could have done, all things considered. You know? I feel like going in there might be a really bad idea. You know what I need to do now, actually, before I go and open all the fucking other doors in this place? Is save. Because there's no fucking way I ever want to do that moon key puzzle. Ever again. In my life. Yeah, another I forgot about that door. I forgot about that fucking door. And it beat me up. And my health is in the shit. And my ammo's in the shit. My everything is in the shit. I am in the shit. I am in so much shit right now that it's hard to put into words how much shit I'm in. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if I can do... This is gonna be like a Lisa, where I run out of ammo and supplies over like halfway through the run and I just can't progress anymore and I'll have wasted the entire time. I just can't. Another shortcut area. Another area where I'm just, I'm just fucked. Like there's no fucking way I'm surviving this in a million fucking years. There's just no way. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed right now. Uh, at least there's another heal. I guess that's not the end of the world. Heals are fine. Heals, I'm not too worried about. Everything else, I'm really worried about. I'm gonna be honest. Light armor found. Damage reduction. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. Well, I have one bullet left in my pistol. Two bullets left in my shotgun. And maybe like three fucking bullets left elsewhere. I am so fucked. Alright, where were there other moon doors? What floor am I on? I don't even know what floor I'm on. Okay, there's a moon door up there. Pretty sure the chest outside needed the sun key. So I don't think that's very relevant at the moment. No moon doors here. Was there a moon door in the attic? Nope. Alright, so there's one other moon door. Ah, God, it's gonna take me to a boss fight and I'm gonna be so fucked. I don't think you guys realise how fucked I am. Don't go through that fucking door. It's gonna take me to a boss fight. I'm gonna lose all my ammo. I'll have to fight it with the shovel, the way things are going. God, I'm so- I'm so boned! I actually can't put into words at the moment how boned I am. Maybe I should go around the shops and buy ammo? I don't know. Well, let's open the moon key and see. Alright. It's this door here. Alright, I mean, definitely I'll take it. Oh, I way up to the attic here as well. Haven't seen one of these for ages to break open now I think about it, unless I missed a shitload. What, what is this? Oh, can I just go straight up? I can. Oh god, I'm, 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 I'm so fucked. Okay, at least I have an almost... Okay, it goes even higher. No. Coins. Coins are useful very much at this point because I'm going to have to probably buy ammo for everything the way things are going.
This is the boss room. Got a simple key. Oh my god. Guys, we're gonna get the Magnum. Oh my god, we're gonna get the Magnum. I'm so excited. <laughs> we got quite a lot of heals there. So I think the Magnum is definitely the best bet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh, I have another shotgun shell. I have another two. Get yeah, fucked, both of you. Raven key, which I have with me. Excellent. Oh, pistol upgrade. Oh my god, and more ammo. Oh god, I love you so much. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so fucking... There's another... I didn't even notice these other doors here, by the way. There's other floors to everything. I'm so overwhelmed. This takes me down into the main hall, right? Yeah. Oh my god, this is insane! There's so much to see and do still! I'm excited though! Oh my god! Alright, I'm gonna go and save. Then we're gonna explore the roofs thoroughly before stepping through that door that definitely goes to a boss fight. But first, after I've saved, we're gonna get the Magnum. Magnum, number one priority. So I can kill the boss with my nine magnum bullets. I feel like that's very, very key here to any future survival plans. You know what I mean? Because, like... Holy shit, guys. I can't believe... I can't believe this game! I'm, I, I was on the edge of my seat and then I just found a bunch of extra supplies. And we have two, like, addict, super addicts that we haven't even explored above the other addicts. Oh my god. I'm so- I can't believe we found a simple key in a fucking plant pot. I can't believe it. I'm so- I'm so moistened. Because we're gonna get the Magnum. We're gonna get the Magnum, and we're gonna be really fucking happy about it. Alright. Is there one here? Doesn't look like it, right? I think this is probably the exception, this area. Oh my god. I can't believe this is even happening. Right, Magnum is mine. Excellent. Magnum Revolver. So I know I have a, a, a probably, presumably better than all the other guns I have gone with nine bullets, which will hopefully be enough to kill a boss. But we'll, we'll see when we actually get to a boss. Could be a puzzle boss, you know, so like it's it's hard to gauge sometimes whether or not like um that's how things will plan out. Alright, where the fuck am I going now? Alright, yeah, this way. We're just gonna check out all the top super top bits we can and hope for the best. Sheet music! Mm, yes! God, I'm moist! Okay, fuck that. We're doing the sheet music first. I have no idea what it does, but hopefully it does something really cool, like give us full health and a uh, uh, chain gun. An Uzi. <laughs> I'm not a pussy Uzi. I want a fucking chain gun, alright? I have seven heals. Probably should just use some to top me up, to be honest with you, if we get into a boss fight, but we'll see. Oh my god, this game. I thought I was on the ropes, and now I feel like I'm maybe not on the ropes anymore, but I'm like, teetering near the ropes. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I don't fucking know anymore. I don't fucking know. Alright, this should be the sheet music room. It is. Maximum health increased, a grenade, 
and more rifle ammo. Oh my god, this is the greatest fucking thing ever. But now I need that first aid kit for a full heal. <laughs> Oh my god, this game! Oh my god! It's so exciting to find that shit, like, it's got just really satisfying. Really satisfying when you find shit like that. Speaking of which, I'm, I am wondering if I still need to find a statue, but I am going to try the statue puzzle quickly. Because... If... If it works, right? Then, um, that could be another really cool secret, like, found and unlocked, right? I have it on the map. I'm going to save first, by the way. I was like, I have everything in my inventory. I don't have the fucking ballista bullets that I dropped on the floor here that I grabbed when I was fighting the gargoyle. All right. Okay, so this guy is definitely facing that way. Now this one is facing... It's possible, by the way, that I've got the, I'm at the wrong... No, I don't think it is. I think, I think, because this seems to be where most of them are. This one is facing... Also the same way. This one is facing... Mm, northeast, and then this one is facing north. Is it the way their hands are pointing, do you think? I don't fucking know. Oh well, I can't figure this shit out. We'll leave it for now. Let's go back to uh, exploring the attics. Before I lose my shit. At how frustrated I am with that puzzle. Wrong trapdoor. This is the one I want. Alright, so. Which way was the... There's a sun lock up here. I need to remember that, because I keep forgetting that that's there. Alright, doesn't matter. Let's go up here. And see what's in this part of the attic. Okay. Furry's final resting place. Are you going to get up? I don't think he's actually capable of getting up. Which is for the best, I think. Thank you for the rifle ammo, though. Could come in extremely in handy here. Alright, got a fully loaded magnum. Save point is this way. And the, presumably a boss fight is this way as well, I'm going to be real. All right, let's heal twice, so we're fine. Drop a save. We have an inventory slot in case there's some puzzle mechanic. All right, let's see how badly this goes. All right, this isn't a boss fight yet. Probably really soon it will be, but right now it is not. Here it now is. Hi! Well, you're beautiful. Here's the uh, fourth boss. Drone mark. Oh, I see why.
stand still, that would be great. There's no fucking way I'm hitting you at the moment. What is this shit? Other than really bad. Okay, I keep hitting him. Why did I waste the magnum on that? Reload, please. Jesus Christ. The reloading in this sucks so much. It makes every fight awful. I'm gonna run out of bullets. You know what? I think I'm gonna do this one again, because I need to be more better, perhaps. Yeah, just kill me. Let's do this one again. I'm really close. Like, it's not too difficult. Just some really obnoxious mechanics. And the problem is, like I said, the reloading is is so bad. It's like unbelievably bad. Alright. Do I have any shotgun shells? No. I do have rifle bullets. Excellent. And I do have quite a lot of pistol bullets. And I'll have even more in a second. So. What we'll do is we'll pick up this. Mag them out. The rifle is the fallback after the magnum, obviously. We oh, should skip these. But that's okay. It's a very brief cutscene. I hate the way these damage you, it's really obnoxious. I'm getting attacked, aren't I? By enemies that I didn't even see at spawn. Excellent. There we go, that went much better. Oh, you can skip cutscenes, you hold down left click. Interesting. Well, we got the sun key. That went much smoother. Oh, no, I'm going to fuck. Oh, did I not heal myself? Oh, no, because I picked up the pistol ammo. Fuck. Hang on, can I get rid- Can I just- I'll just, get, I'll just empty out. I'll reload. Then I can do it, there we go. Excellent. Let's go and save before we do anything else. So that is, how many bosses down? Four. And I think there's a final boss as well. You know, like a... God damn it. Like a big boss. That was the easiest of the bosses, to be fair. Oh, lock from the other side, shit. Okay. Well then. Time to use the sun key to open a bunch more doors. And I think I can get to a sun key area in the attic up here. So let's go and do that one first, I guess. I say as I immediately go the wrong way. I'm aware I wasted a bullet, by the way, but I'm riding on adrenaline a bit, so I don't really care at this point in time. I will care later on when I run out of bullets and I complain about the lack of bullets, but... Oh, I can't because... Um, can I? Nah, it's not, it's not gonna work. Okay, I need to go around to the other one to get to the sun thing. That's fine, though. There's a bunch of sun stuff to open, actually. Let's start with the chests. There's a sun chest outside that I can just get to really easily here, so let's do that one first. And there's a guy, there's still a guy out here, the only zombie in the game I haven't killed, apart from the three in the garden. 
fuck me, I'm full on everything. There you go. What don't I need anymore, do you think? I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna drop the Raven Key, at least temporarily. Actually, no, there's no need to, there's no need to. Let me reload the Magnum. There you go. I definitely am going to need more inventory space again, though, or at the very least, going to drop some keys. I think the keys are definitely the things that I'm going to start dropping, because, um, well, it just makes more sense to you, really, you know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't I at this point in time? It's going to be annoying if I come across, like, uh, a chest that requires them, but, um, it is what it is, you know. A room with 20 coins would be nice. Oh, it's a coin. I'll take it. A full heal. God damn it. I could really do with that. And... Oh my god. So much stuff that's useful. Fuck you, game. <laughs> right, it's it's time. This is the key room, alright? I'm gonna drop the rose key, the raven key, and the moon key for now. And we'll come back for them if we need them, alright? Watch me, watch me be out of the room still in a second, because it's gonna be, it's gonna be the case. All right, so there was a key somewhere else. There was a first, there was a place where I could use a key, but it was near where the door eats you, and I don't like the room where the door eats you. But I think we can go around it. <laughs> so I want to get rid of the key, the, the simple key, as quick as possible. You know what I mean. So I have room. That makes sense, right? Because the simple key takes up an inventory slot, and I think the med kits will stack. I think if I go through here, this, is, this should be it. Yeah, this door is the killer door, but this one here is the thing that requires a simple key. There we go, and we have an inventory slot. We do. All right, cool. All right. Now the question is, where the fuck do we go here? We got the door in the chapel that we can't open at all, and in the attic we have the other sun key. This door here, no idea what this is for. There's no lock or anything. I don't really understand it, but um, we'll worry about it if we get to a dead end. Okay, so up into the attic via the. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see which route I need to take. Any sun key in the basement? Doesn't look like it, right? Sorry, in the basement here. Doesn't look like it. It looks like the other sun key entrance is in the roof. Oh shit, what the fuck is this? Are you fucking kidding me? I could have opened the much cooler looking treasure chest! I'm so angry right now. That's gonna be an upgrade in there. That's going to be an upgrade, and I didn't get the upgrade. It'll be like, Magnum shoots 700 bullets at once, or some shit. It'll be like my dream. My dream Magnum situation. Oh, hang on, though. This is going to... What does this do? Okay, I've got one of the artifacts. The Soul Dagger. That's going to open the door in the chapel. That's what that's going to do. Shouldn't have picked that up, really. It's going to take up an inventory space that is uh, really needed at the moment, but a wrong way. But it is what it is. Let's head up to the attic and see how bad the situation is when I open the door up there. We need one more simple key now. I'm really annoyed that I opened the fucking health kit instead of that. Because I have quite a lot of heals, and my health is extended at the moment. Yeah, so it's like... Oh shit, it's like all the way through. Like it's through the electronic lock doors. In the other wing basically. The one that I haven't really spent much time in. I could have got to this a way easier way than the way I'm going, by the way. I just realised, but it is what it is. May as well. 
All right, so this area should have the sun key door. Yeah, it's like over here. Oh, wow. This is a big area. Don't use the magnum, you fucking idiot. Oh no, what is this? Oh no! What is this terrible, terrible situation I find myself in? God damn it! Okay, we found another sun key here. I gave up on that puzzle. I, I don't... The puzzles are getting really, really bad. Like, oh no! Look at this shit! Well, here's the safe that we need as well. Which apparently has a part of the gun in it. So that's going to be, um, interesting. I did, uh, consult a walkthrough, and I've noticed a few things that I can do now that I'm gonna go and do before I try and solve these. I'm not gonna lie. Puzzles that I think are way, way, way too complex for their own good. Like, um... Resident Evil's puzzles are really simple, you know? Like, really, really, really baby simple. You don't need to extrapolate more on that if the game's got brutal combat. Like, even on easy, this game's giving me a real run for my money. God knows how you guys play it on hard. Fuck me. Like, it's like, it's insane. Alright, so. We're gonna finally do this puzzle, okay? Um, because it's worth the reward, so we're gonna do it, but it's really, really, really fiddly from what I can see. Like, it doesn't actually make a lot of sense in comparison to where, like, uh, to, to how it should do, right? I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I, I had them right. I had them, I had the right positions. The problem is it's really hard to tell which direction the statues are facing. And, like, I genuinely cannot tell the difference between north and, you know, uh, uh, and, uh, and the other ones here. Like, it's, like, it's actually insane. But we are, I am most, I was mostly right. And it's just a question of tweaking them enough to get it right. I don't know why this isn't working. I really don't. It's so fucking annoying. I've watched video after video, and okay, it's it's this is awful. You've got to have a fucking north, south, east, west written on the bottom of the fucking thing because it's otherwise it's impossible to gauge the way they're facing. It really is. Like to me, this looks like absolutely fucking a hundred percent right now. I'm gonna go with the way their hands are facing. Right? I don't know what to do. This is a mess. There we go. What a fucking fiddly puzzle that was. So hard to tell what you're meant to do. I spent so long on that. Holy shit. Anyway. Maximum health crease and some more magnum ammo. Excellent. We're now going to go and open the chest in the graveyard that I never opened. Uh, as a, another item space thing. Not item space thing. Just as another place to go to get some upgrades and shit. So let's go and do that and get that out of the way. And then we will go back and tackle the horrific looking puzzles in the other rooms. And hopefully, if I follow a walkthrough step by step, it won't be too bad. But I've got a horrible feeling that even with a walkthrough, from what I can see, that they're going to be way over my head. 
It's like I'm watching someone do something, like, so random that it makes absolutely no sense. I think the order is going to be this. So what you do is sun. You see it bleeds. Rose. Raven. And then moon. There you go. It's not even particularly worthwhile, I'm going to be honest with you. But I don't think I need the sun key anymore. So I'll take the shotgun shells, which I can load into my gun, and then take the heal as well. And I may as well use the heal, and take the sun key with me in case of an emergency for now. I think I've unlocked all the sun doors though. All right, I think we've got now all like the spare like items and stuff that I could possibly have. Um, so that's good. There's one place I haven't opened with a key. No idea where I'm gonna find that key. And it's, I guess it's not the end of the world if I don't find it. Like it is what it is, right? But uh, I think we're doing alright at the moment. I'm just very concerned about the puzzles in the Sunwing. They just seem so complicated compared to anything else I've seen. Like, the, the chapel puzzle was close to winning my worst puzzle of the year. Let's see if this one is um, going to be close. We have two puzzles to solve in the Sunwing. And I just don't think this is going to go well. <laughs> I just got a feeling. But hey, our health is really high. We found two health upgrades. What if I missed a stamina upgrade somewhere? It's entirely possible, right? Right, what's the best way of getting into that wing? This way, I think. And we'll start with the laser one. You know what, can I go and do the chapel, open the chapel door now with the thing and then save myself an inventory slot maybe? I don't know, it's probably a bad idea because I probably need it to like put it on a pedestal or some shit. But I'm gonna need three parts of this fucking other thing. The one of which is in this chest, this uh, this thing here. So yeah, this looks awful. There we go. That actually wasn't that bad. I could take back what I said about this puzzle. It was actually pretty simple. I want to finish the artifact B must be assembled again. Here's all I have about the parts. I left the first one at the lighthouse base myself. Duke had the second part. I found these words within where he met his demise. Trace the line between Mars and Mercury, another between Athena and the unknown god. I buried the part in haste where they cross. The spot is hidden to the eyes I have faith when digging. Crew Chief Adam fled with the third part into the old attic. I haven't heard from him since we separated ways. In order to attach the parts again, all I can find from the old library is that we need a source that emanates dark energy. If we drop the parts in the pentagram found in the northern rooms, could that work? All right. There is a lot to take in here. Is this a simple key or a normal key? It's a simple key. Which we can now go and open a door with. I'm going to drop the trap door key here as well. And hope we don't need them again. If not, we could always come back for them. It's not the end of the world. Alright. Okay. So. This goes to the other one. The other puzzle. So I guess we should go and do this one first. And uh... Hang on, I have not been here. I have not been here. What is this shit? This requires a simple key, we're committing. Okay. Every 
everything's fine now. Oh, the grenade stack. Holy shit. <laughs> Poor guy, he just got absolutely wrecked. Oh, this was a supply room and it was 100% worth it. Holy shit. Okay, excellent. Where does this take us? This is just a fucking... Oh my god, everything is so huge. And large and throbbing. This door is off limits at the moment, I'm guessing. Alright, so it's on the other floor, the other puzzle, that we need to try and figure out. Like, so... Looking at this, to me it would make sense just to hit the things on the floor, right? In the order they appear on the wall. But I don't think that's the case. But we'll find out, because I'm gonna... So, I think I did it? I'm not entirely sure, I think... I think it unlocks this door? I think. It's really hard to tell. At least we've got a spinel. I saw that in the video, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm fucked. Maybe not. Well, that was a little bit of a panic, but could have been a lot worse, actually. Alright. So we got into a new area here? Had I been here before? I don't think I had been here before. Are you fucking kidding me? Suck a dick. Watch me waste all my pistol bullets on this fuck. Alright, I think that up here in the attic, it said that one of the guys had gone with the gun part, right? This is definitely new. That looks horrible. Oh. Did not expect you to be up here, I'm gonna be honest with you. Eh. I'll take it. You never know, you never know. Before we go that way, let's go and check out. It's a, it's called the Whispers Room, which does not sound a particularly ideal situ situation to be in, I'm gonna be honest with you. One of the parts is buried where the statues intersect. I think I actually already know where that is. Um... So that's something as well. This takes us back to the other side of this place. Excellent. Okay. So the Whispers Room is the only way to go. I'm going to save first in case the Whispers Room just fucking kills me or some shit, knowing my fucking luck. I have absolutely no idea, by the way, how I solved that puzzle. I, I just had to watch a video again. Again, like... I'm gonna be honest, probably... too elaborate... for its own good? Like, I understand that you could probably brute force it. It's only five things. But, like, I have no idea how... we... put them together, you know what I mean? Thanks, guys. <laughs> that was a bit... That was a bit awkward. But it is what it is. Holy shit. That scared the fuck out of me going up there. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they were gonna swing their fucking things at me. We got full... We got, we got all the inventory slots. This is horrible. Here is the, probably the part of the gun we need. Are you fucking kidding me? Why did I do it so short? Actually, that went pretty well. Get off me, you fuck. Well... I could have gone a lot worse, I guess. 
I can't even see what gun I have out right now. Fuck. What an absolute shit show that was. Holy shit. Well, let's just keep going. Grenade saved the day, even though I got nommed. And we got the first part of the gun. Now, I think I know where the second part is, so let's go and grab that quickly. And then I think we'll be ready to go through the door to, like, um, the, the chapel door once we have the second part. But then we need to charge the gun, which in itself could be bum. I guess we'll see. We need to combine the parts, I assume, and then charge them. Alright, so... I need to get to the back area again, like... Let's go through this door, this door... Where the fuck am I? <laughs> I don't even know! This place is huge! We'll figure it out. We need to get to the outside area anyway with the greenhouse, that's where I'm going. Whether or not I make it there or not remains to be seen. Without getting eaten by a door. I feel like, okay. Hopefully, I do not find myself in an ammo bad situation. Ammo bad situation? You know, it's not what I mean. Right. So I think, um. Well, I uh, I knew there was a creature that's underneath the place, but I guess it's uh, finally ready to show itself, huh? I'm going to save in case it kills me in a single hit when I go near it. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't trust giant tentacles to not do that, so... Yeah, I think it's fair game, to be honest with you, to do this. Alright, tentacle. Might be near these zombies, unfortunately for me. Definitely is near these zombies, unfortunately for me. Part the gun and a simple key. We're gonna go and unlock the chest over this side with the simple key. Jesus Christ. Now the other part is at the foot of the lighthouse, it said. So we're gonna have to go through the chapel door to get to that. There's no fucking way that that's like, not behind that locked door when needs the dagger. So, yeah. Very nice. Very happy with more Magnum ammo. Gonna be honest with you. Because that's probably what we're gonna be using to kill the bosses from here on out, let's be real. Alright, now, where the fuck is the chapel? It's just through here. It's gonna suck if this goes straight into a boss fight, but I'm gonna risk it. So we need to use the soul dagger here. Okay, all right, of all the things I expected to, to be here, uh, uh, that's not what I expected to see, I'm going to be honest with you. But uh, we, are, we are almost clearly done with the game, the way this is going. Uh, save point is, there's a save point over here, I'm going to go there. Because, um, holy shit, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, I did not expect that. Alright. Gonna use these two medi patches to max my health. We've got two first aid kits for full heals and five other medi patches. I'm gonna reload all my guns. I don't know if this is a boss fight immediately. But, um. We're gonna find out, I guess, very shortly.
It's crazy that that's so close to where you start the game. This is a boss fight, right? This guy here is a boss. What was that noise? The Beacon Keeper. Oh, he healed. I'm in trouble here. Because the reload is a decade. Okay, this is bullshit. I don't know what to do to stop this. Oh my god, that took me over an hour! I hate it! I hated that so much! Terrible boss fight! So awful to play! Holy shit! Like, that was awful. He the healing is just ridiculous! He heals so much! All the time! That you can't do shit! You can't go anywhere! Because I've run out of magnum ammo by the way now. Which I'm really annoyed about too. Because I wanted to save it for the last boss, but I just I just can't. I, I just couldn't beat it without using the magnum. Like, it was... It was awful. Hol I can't believe it. I'm so angry right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being angry. And, Dev, you are a lovely person. And I thank you so much for the support. But you cannot call this journey difficulty. You could only call this... This is like hard mode on a normal game. Like, this is pushing past Dark Souls levels of difficulty at times. And that's insane for a mode marked journey. Because it's not much of a journey when you have to fucking spend an hour fighting something. Holy shit, that was terrible. He just heals so fast! I just couldn't do anything about it! He just constantly fucking healed! All the fucking time! Can I combine in my inventory? I can't remember. I don't think so, right. Which is the pentagram room? It's around here somewhere. I got a demonic gun. Hopefully that means I don't have to use that. Uh, anything else to shoot. Uh, you know. I lost a lot of health, by the way, in that fight too. Like, an objectionable amount. <laughs> I had to use one of my big heals. Oh, it was just horrible. I'm sorry for ranting, but fuck. Uh, that, that, that almost ca that, I almost quit playing. That was so bad. So anyway. Apparently there's a note that I missed somewhere. Uh, I'm using- I'm, I'm just full out using a walkthrough at this point, because it, I, I, I'm losing my shit after that fight. Um, there's these runes hidden through the map, and they increase your demonic gun damage, which makes the final battle a lot easier. So, we're gonna go and find them all. There was one location there, and then we'll keep going. Here's another one. And here's a third, apparently. This works. It does. You have to shoot the moon. Faster recovery for the gun. Right, so there we go. We have the upgrades that we would need. So I think... I have a lot of pistol ammo, a lot of shotgun ammo, a bit of rifle ammo, and I have the demonic gun, so that's something at least. How many heals do I have? I have a full heal, and I have... 
three med packs. Hopefully that's enough. But anyway, I think it's time to go and have the final showdown at the lighthouse now. I think uh, I'm done with exploring. Uh, I'm really sorry to sound so negative, but that, that boss fight was so, so, so terrible. I, I, I can't get over it, and I hope the last boss fight is doable, because I don't want to play through this game and then get to the end and not be able to beat it. Because, like, I had that with Parasite Eve, and... Ah, uh, God, I, 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 I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I can't, I can't get over how angry I am about that fight. I've got the powered-up gun. Please, please, please be an easier boss than the last one. Please. Please, I'm so fucking worried that this is going to be unbeatable for me. Let's go. Oh, I hear a save. Hang on, can I go in these? There's a way down. I'm not going to go down, because I think the game has different endings, and down might be something different. Let's go to the top and risk it. I mean, it's not very long to run back from the other save point, so, you know. But that's okay. Soul Dagger? Okay. Excellent. Progress. Probably a boss fight now, I'm gonna guess. Or not. Did I win? Oh shit, I'm on my boat! Shit, I didn't even realize! I guess I got an easier ending. I escaped the island by destroying the lighthouse appendage using the Zuri motorbike as its base until I reached commercial route. It's a bitter unknown thing is still alive and I hope it rots in that place until the end of time. Perhaps I could have assembled that other artifact and checked what it, using it would have led into. Maybe in another life. Well, no, because I fucking made it! Right? I made it! I had it in my hand! Alright, anyway. Let's load up. We're gonna do that again and see what other ending we can maybe get. But we'll give it another shot. No Magnum ammo makes me really sad, but I had to. I had to do it, otherwise I would never have got past that other boss. So let's try. We're going down this time. So there's a bittersweet ending where you just leave. If this is impossible, at least I got a ending. Oh shit, I could have opened the other door I think with this. Now I think about it. I'm not going back now, but... You know, I could have done. Could be enemies down here. Alright. I wish that thing was shut shut up. Fuck off. Alright. Hi. I'm guessing we're just going to be using the big thing on the boss, so... I guess we use the soul dagger here on the heart. Oh god. Doing this again and again and again is gonna annoy me, isn't it? Oh my god! Oh my god! I mean, that is pretty cool. The dead beacon. Well, it's the entire island. <laughs>
Oh, it's got a recharge. I see. Fuck off. I fuck it. Are they just going to never endingly spawn? Because if so, I'm in trouble. I'm fucked, guys. I am so fucked. How long till it's recharged? What does that do? I'll open a new area, I think, maybe. Um... What am I meant to be doing? Other than dying, obviously. So I found out where to go. I had to watch a video. I didn't realize this was climbable. Which is probably very stupid of me. I'm not going to lie in this instance. But I've got a feeling this fight's going to be out my league. <laughs> move again. Maybe I can do this fight. This is it, it's my chance! Yes! Is there any more to this? No, my luck, there will be. This fight was so much easier than the other one, holy shit. It sinks below the ocean. Oh my god, I think I beat the game! Oh my god, I think I got both endings. Oh my god. Holy shit, this was really difficult, but that wasn't too bad, that last fight, actually. I only took two tries, as opposed to the hour I spent on the uh, previous one. Oh my god, we get rescued as well. What a nomkin. Oh, there's the artifacts, I guess. I don't fucking know. And that's it. So that was Dead Beacon. Um, I have a lot to say about this. First of all, the dev is a very lovely person and helped me out a lot with this playthrough, so thank you very much for that. I would say that, generally speaking, this game is incredibly hard, even on the easiest setting, and I think that's going to put quite a lot of people off. Um, like, the journey difficulty is not not journey. It is, like, hard for most games. I, I'm not going to lie, it's very, very challenging. I... 
almost gave up on a few occasions because of how challenging it was on the easiest setting, and that's not a good sign of an easy setting. Um, when I play on an easy setting, I expect to like not really have any challenge at all and just be able to just like go through relaxing. That's unrelated to the puzzles. The puzzles would be the same throughout. I would say that aside from the chapel puzzle, most of the puzzles in this were fine. The chapel puzzle was terrible. Like I really, really disliked it. Like I'm watching the solution made me angry because I don't think most people would put together how to do it without a video. I, I think it's uh, very elaborate. Um, however, the other ones I think are okay. Uh, I was a little wary of them initially when I just saw the rooms. I was like, oh God, this looks awful. But it's actually, they're not that bad. Um, so I think that, um, yeah, my, my, I, I mean, I, I don't think the travel puzzle is going to be changed, but I, I, I'm sure, Dev, that you had, like, your own sort of, like, creative idea behind this to make a challenging game, because uh, I don't think you were going to include a journey difficulty at all to begin with. I can't imagine playing this on normal or hard. I just, I, I would not have got through it, especially that, especially the boss, uh, the Beacon Keeper. That boss took, it, took so much out of me. <laughs> it really did. Anyway, that is Dead Beacon. That was a good game but very challenging. I'd give it like, I'm going to give it a six, which is uh, a recommended still for me. I'm going to recommend this on Steam and do a review for it and all that kind of stuff because um, a six for me is, it's very much above average. Uh, it's, it's a lot better than most indie horrors and it has a lot of effort put into it. It's just, there's some things that are just a bit much for me and I'm clearly not the intended, uh, you know, uh, audience for this in a lot of ways. I play horror games for sure, but I like my horror games to not be really challenging. Uh, so yeah, uh, but overall, I thought this was a very well put together title. Exploring was great. I love the exploration, really good. The exploration and finding the secrets had me genuinely excited and I loved it. And I thought there were some really cool quirky bits, just a lot of fun bits, um, just marred by the extreme difficulty and frustration that I experienced at times. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy, consider pledging to our Patreon to help more long plays come. Um, these take a lot of work. This one in particular took uh, nearly six hours of recording. I think it's going to be more like a three-hour video. So um, if you can help us out, please consider pledging so we can uh, hit our goals and be super, 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 super nom. Oh, my God. That would be fantastic. I will see you guys really soon for more content. And um, I hope you guys have a wondrous rest of, time, rest of your day, rest of your week. See you really soon. Goodbye.